King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Hey, what up everybody? Holmes here and welcome to my Demon Souls walkthrough. This is gonna be a real walkthrough. Um it's not gonna be a playthrough. I yeah. Uh been been holding this off for a bit. Uh been busy with Dark Souls at first and uh and then Dark Souls 2 came out right after I was done for Dark Souls. Uh so yeah. And had been really busy with Dark Souls 2. And then uh, decided to take a little bit of break from the Souls games. And then now I'm here once again with Demon Souls. Uh, when Dark Souls 2 DLCs comes out, I will cover it. So for those of you guys that didn't watch my other video <coughs> about that, uh, I will still cover Dark Souls 2 uh, when the DLC comes out. But for now, I am going to be just focusing on my watchdog walkthrough and my demon souls walkthrough all right so my character build is a thief build uh well it's not really build but I, my start out class is a thief and uh the build i'm going for it's always gonna be dex so yeah um note that if you're trying to beat the tutorial boss with a dex build it might be a bit tough because the dagger is pretty damn weak so if you guys want to kill it you guys want to have an easier time with the tutorial boss uh 
I suggest you guys go with like a warrior or something. Uh, unless you really want to go with a thief and... Because it might take a while to kill him and if you fuck up, you're pretty much dead. So, uh, there is a chance for him to KO you. So be really careful if you're using a thief. Because it takes forever just to kill the guy. As you guys will see in this video. And uh, this tutorial route, right? This area that I'm in right now. This is a tutorial level. It's totally optional. You guys can skip it if you guys want. Right before you guys start the game. Uh, when you create a character, you know, after the cutscene. The game will ask you if you want to play through the tutorial level. Or you, you can just jump right into the game if you want. Uh, if you press yes, then it'll take you to this level. And... Um, you read the messages on the ground, it will teach you how to play the game. But the buttons, more or less, is the same as Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just doing this this level for the hell of it. For those of you guys that want to see me fight the tutorial boss. And uh, once you beat the tutorial boss, there is a little bit of um, pickups that you can get. So there is a good thing that you get. Um, there is good things about the tutorial uh, killing the tutorial boss it's because you'll get some awesome pickups so if you don't kill them it's fine too the pickups are not that major you guys can obtain th those pickups later on in the game so you're not missing out on those pickups um yeah these enemies are fairly set fairly easy uh parrying in this game i feel like it's a bit harder than dark souls and way easier than Dark Souls 2. So, yeah, I don't know. Dark Souls 2, the parrying, it's it's insane. It takes... I could parry, but, you know, I'm, often I get whacked by it. So here's the tutorial, boss. Let me just guide you guys through this little part here. Uh, make sure you you swing around him. Like, Just keep running once you get in the fog door and make sure you dodge his swing, okay? And take a couple of shots in on his leg or his ass. If you guys have a longer range weapon, you can hit his ass, but we have a dagger, so. Uh, it's a bit hard to reach his ass, because sometimes if you're trying to hit his butt, your dagger will miss because it's too tiny, so it won't reach, so. <laughs> yeah, the best way to keep damage on him for daggers or a short range weapon is just to whack his legs. And basically you want him to do this flying sit thing. So when he flies, sit and you get like two to three attacks in. Rinse and repeat, you know. Don't be around his don't be near him when he's flying, because when he when he falls, it's gonna it's gonna release this little AoE-ish thing around him. So if you're too close, you're gonna get hit, okay? And I I got whacked there. I almost died. Uh, most of his attack can KO you. Uh, there are some times that you, you're gonna get lucky and that they won't kill you. Because I have fought this guy before in my practice runs. And he KO'd me more than more than I um, survived his hits. You know, like one shot and I'm gone. Especially his two handed swing right there. That shit will. It feels like a guaranteed KO. I don't know if anyone survived it because I haven't. <laughs> Every time I get hit by that thing, it's a guaranteed KO. So. Keep keep on the right side of him, okay? And uh Yeah, just, just keep right and then wait for him to do a flying attack. And uh if he's walking around, still keep right, just keep right, keep right. Okay, he's gonna do a flying attack and uh, I'm gonna heal up a bit, top off my HP. Hopefully I can survive another another one of his hits if it does land, which I really hope it doesn't. Okay, his little swing there. Be careful because he does have this like he has this quick swing that comes out of nowhere, okay? So you wanna be really careful while with his Yeah, that one right there. See how he just swings and it looks like he was done and then like his the swing from the left to the right just came out of nowhere. That shit is devastating, okay? If it catches you there is there is a chance well, there's a high chance of KOing you, so be careful. And uh just dodging the swings here. And pretty simple boss, it's just the way he moves, it's kind of annoying. Sometimes he walks into the wall and you can't circle around him because, you know, you can't go through the walls, so... It's kind of a pain when that happens, so try to keep him in the center if you can. 
And if he's walking, like if he's walking in circles too much, you guys can't just take a couple of pot shots at him when he's walking. Make sure you don't deplete your stamina bar while you're doing that. Because that would be tragic. Okay, he's gonna do a flying, okay, no problem. Don't be careful about uh staying too far away from him because his his swings does have a bit of range. And if you get hit while you're in far range, you'll die, okay? So be careful. Like his his KO chance is higher if you're farther when he hits you within the um when you're in the far range. If you're in a closer range, uh the KO chance feel I feel like it's slightly decreased. You know, like you can survive you can survive more often than the longer range. That's just from my experience. Um I don't know. Maybe someone else will have a um, different experience, but that's what I have experienced. Like the fur, the further you are from him, and then you take a damage, you take a hit from him while you're far away. Like there's a high chance you'll get KO by that attack. If you're if he's doing the same attack, but if you're closer to him, it feels like the KO chance is lower. But yeah, that is gonna be the Vanguard boss for Demon Souls. It's the tutorial boss. If you guys don't kill him here, it's okay. If he kills you here and you don't get to kill him here, it's fine, you know. Um, later on, you'll get a chance to find him again. Now, this guy right here, this dragon, damn. That is the dragon god. And, ooh, he, he looks, he looks tough, eh? Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to fight him later. We won't be able to do it now. But we will get a chance to take on the dragon god later. And uh, I will show you guys how to defeat that if you guys don't already know. Because I know some of you guys probably haven't played uh, Demon Souls. It's a pretty old game. It's FromSoft's first Soul game. So, yeah. Most people took notice of um, the Souls game when Dark Souls 1 came out. And then Dark Souls 2, everyone was just excited about that. And here is the Dragon God. Damn. I love his design. It looks so awesome. Except when he punches you like that. Yeah, they freaking force you to die no matter what. Unless you skip the tutorial area or else you're gonna die no matter what. Either get killed by the vanguard or get killed by the dragon god, you know. Uh, there's no way of getting out. So now you have died, and uh, the Nexus has trapped your souls. You cannot escape from the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. So once you defeat like a boss, you will revive back to human right away on the spot. So yeah, but this game has a thing called World Tendency, and I'll explain more once we get into the walkthrough. But for now, I am just going to call this a run. I hope this... <laughs> video has been entertaining and helped you guys out through a little bit part of demon souls and join me next time when i take on more demon souls i'll see you guys then homes out